A.M. Mathis, your local indie author distributor. And I hope that you guys had a great home day. <laughs> yes, absolutely love that. Well, you know, I was on a um, thought process of decision making you know, this week, you know, what I've been doing my live videos on. So if you hadn't seen my live videos, go to my Pew Partner page on Facebook and you will get a treat. So my thought process is as I continue on, um, because I like to pray for, you know, um, you guys on Wednesday, that it is in our best interest to, you know, make decisions that stick. And what I mean by that, you know, those decisions that are going to grow us to the next level, those decisions that will keep us motivated and help somebody else reach their potential, because ultimately we understand that what we learn is not for ourselves ultimately, but for the next person. So I am very excited that I have made a choice in my life to stop procrastinating and start you know, really putting some effort into my Young Living business and not doing it or seeing it just as a hobby. So I we'll also want to continue on. I can't be your local independent author if I'm not writing my books, if I don't spend time writing. And my next book that I am working on is the one I want Disney to take up and make it into a movie and we do a voice. So that is my ultimate goal. And I'm so excited because my live action poo movie is coming out this week. And I am so excited about that because, you know, I absolutely adore Disney. Ever since I was a little bitty something, you know, I have always just, you know, had a love for, you know, the imagination, the creativity the putting me in a different situation so for me i decided way back when i can't you know give you an exact time or you know what i'm saying or age but i knew that disney would play a big huge part in my life and you know because i'm speaking it and i'm expecting the universe to um, surround me with this goodness which we understand that the universe is who our God you know to surround me with this goodness because he's the one God is the one that put it into my heart and he has given me the ability and the talent to you know accomplish um, what he has for me and that must have been in his plan because you know ultimately you know we're talking about decisions way back when my mom made a a decision to have me even when the doctors told her that she should abort me because of health reasons but because of her love for me which is so ultimately you know um, great so I mean it just makes me speechless at times and when I think about it but you know her love for me was greater than her love for herself and, you know, that helps me to understand the importance of learning and getting what God has for me, for someone else. To actually pass along that knowledge, that love, that help and that support. And so, because my mom made that decision, you know, God is going to use me mightily. And he has given me a great example in my mom, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very... I was very blessed and still am very blessed to have her legacy, have her spirit, have her determination and her her love inside of me. So, um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You know, I like to just give you a little update on what your girl is doing, you know. And so we are working with Daniel 11. This is my series, Are You Getting Head? And this one is called Fight Over Bondage slavery so um in this chapter we know that the north and the south are at war and this really is about the survival of the fittest we know that the um southern forces won and the forces gathered um more forces were gathered to defeat the south so guys like i always say to you now this is just my commentary i always want to encourage you to study 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 
the word because ultimately that's how you show yourself approved as our word clearly says so like i said i'm i'm just giving you my little thought process and as a writer i just pull out you know what actually jumps out to me because a lot of times we are bound by things that we shouldn't even be bound by we're doing fights and jumping through hoops for people that we shouldn't even be jumping through hoops for ultimately we should do everything that we do for our god and that's it period there's nothing i can add to that there's nothing i can take away from that ultimately we do what we do because god has asked us to so again this is coming from daniel 11 this is my series are you getting head fight over bondage slavery Launch out into the deep of the unfamiliar territory can cause you to backpedal if you are not strong inwardly. That's a self-love and confidence that only comes from God because he unlocks those doors for you. But you got to have it here and here. Then nobody can take it from you. I mean, your faith in God, right? Because that's the only way by which we live and by we move and by we are determined to keep going and to take the person that walks behind us with us. Going back and forth is no way to establish your footing. You must be committed to your own plan of getting out of mindsets that no longer work for you. By handing over control to God, you establish your, your success in a platform that will have the most benefit to you and those you surround yourself with. The phrase, your help comes from the Lord, is how you must live. That's it. Your help comes from the Lord, and that's how you must live. I mean, you can't rely on man. Now, I'm not saying that people don't love you, and I'm not saying that people don't support you, but ultimately, to get you to that place of purpose and destiny, you've got to trust God. You've got to put your faith in Him. You have to cling to your understanding that no one can keep you in a place unless you want to be there. Do not get comfortable in the mess you created, nor the residue from the past relationships that will shut you down, that will shut down your progress. Peace is inward and God wants you to have it. That is the way you come by wisdom that no one can take from you. Form relationships that will take you and the other person to the next level. There is no one or thing greater than your God. You know, people ultimately, there is such peace when you recognize that, oh my God, I'm, I'm just really not here to please people. I'm not here to, to try to convince you of, you know, ultimately my greatness, what God has planned for me. I'm not here to suggest that, you know, I'm better than anybody else. I just know that my God loves me. He gives me peace about that. I carry that as my shield, as the knowing by which I get up every day. And I hope for you that you would do the same thing because why live in a place that's not going to take you anywhere? that makes you hate what you see in the mirror that is just ultimately a waste of time and god is about peace and joy and love and forgiveness he is about wisdom and determination and he is about making sure that the person that's following you has a good example to follow and that you are ultimately showing people how to get it done because we hear all the time, you can be anything you want to, but if there's no example for you to follow, how do you get there? I know I'm just giving you a lot of thought processes today, but I hope that this is beneficial for you. And if it is, please, you know, hit that subscribe button. You know, I'm working, you know, hard. I'm almost at, you know, 75. So once I hit that 75 mark, we're going to have a great, huge celebration. So guys, and you know, I want you to remember my series, Are You Getting Head? This one is Fight Over Bondage, Slavery, 
coming from Daniel 11. And hey guys, this is P.M. Mathis, your local indie author distributor. And as always, 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 I want you to what? Be a blessed. Have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye.